guys, welcome to another episode of Take It to the Table. This time we are making fried chicken featuring the Kentucky Colonel seasoned flour. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can make delicious, crispy fried chicken using this flour. Mm -hmm. Alright, so um, you want to empty a box of this in a mixing bowl and sprinkle a little bit of cornstarch in the mix alright so I already did that but it's, it's um, just sprinkle a little bit in there put a whole bag of this in there and um, I just want to show y'all something right quick I have a lot of chicken here they come in two different sizes this, this box they come in a big size and the little size see the value size and the um, small so, depending on how much chicken you like to cook, that's what you're going to use, okay? Alright, now, that's all you need for that because the, the flour is already seasoned, okay? So, you just put that and some cornstarch in the flour, just sprinkle some. Alright, now, for the chicken, which I've already seasoned and let marinate a little bit, a little bit of onion powder, just sprinkle on the top. Sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder on the top. A little bit of seasoning salt because this is already seasoned and salty, but you just want to give it a little extra taste. Just a little bit of seasoning salt on the top and black pepper. Okay, so that's all that goes in here. Then I scrambled up two eggs and put it in here and mixed it all together. So I have two scrambled eggs and all the seasonings in here mixed together. All right, so, let me wash my hands. All right, so I'm back, I finished washing my hands. Now, I don't have a thermometer or nothing like that, so how I can tell that my grease is ready? See how it's frying on the top like that, bubbling? That's how you know it's ready. And let me show you what I like to use. This peanut oil. All right, you can use canola vegetable, but I heard that peanut oil is better for you and it fries better, it fries the chicken up better in my opinion, okay? All right, so we're ready to batter our chicken. Mash it a little bit, put a few to the side. Get you a big bowl, or you could get a bag, okay? Put a few to the side. See? All right. Let me do like a few more like that. Mm -hmm. Just like this. See how you're just doing it real quick? All right. Now, so before you put it in there, you want to shake it off like this. Shake it and put it in there. I'm deep frying them today. Okay, sometimes I use a frying pan, but they're being deep fried today. Put one more in there and when you put them in there just let them be for a little bit so that because um, if you start uh, messing with them right away the flour is going to come off so just let it be for a little bit and I'll come back and let you know um, when to turn it all right so just right quick I want to show you guys um, how I flip or turn the chicken so see how the um, crust on it had time to form so all you got to do now is turn them in like so. Looking good. Yeah. And peanut oil has um, good frying properties and it makes it like the crust really nice and pretty. And crunchy. Well, what really makes the crust crunchy is the egg that I put in. The corn line, the corn, the egg, which I put in in the corn stalk. Alright, so that's going to make some crispy chicken, okay? So, 
I'm only going to let these cook until I see them floating on the top and stop frying like vigorously like this. So when, when the frying um, slows down and when they start to float to the top, that's when you know they're ready. You don't want to overcook them because the, um, the meat of the chicken will be kind of like tough. So you want to um, take them out before it gets to that point. And I'll be back to show you the final result. Okay, so before I take them out, I'm going to flip them one more time, okay, because I can tell that it's slowing down and, and frying, so I'm going to just flip it one more time and give it a few more minutes and show you guys how it's going to look when it comes out. See it's starting to float a little bit, see how it's just starting to but Give it a few more minutes, and I'll show you guys the final result. Alright, so now the frying has slowed down tremendously, and they're floating to the top. See how they're just floating to the top? So now, they're ready to take out. So what I'm going to do is to, I'm going to put them on this cooling rack, because usually I used to... Um, drain them on paper towels, but I've been watching other videos and saw that if you put them on a cooling rack, that the crust will stay crispy. Alright, so that's what I'm doing. Putting them on this rack. And do not, do not serve these right away. Look, when you put it, take it out, let the grease drip like that first. And put it on here. Look at that. Look how that crust is. I have another batch just like that. So, oh, what I was saying is that when you get ready to serve it, do not serve it right away. You want to let it cool a little bit, and when you do that, the crust will set, it'll settle, and then it'll harden. See, now it's kind of soft, but let, let it sit a few minutes and then serve it, okay? Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Nice mm. and crispy and brown. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm going to put my other batch on. All right. Do the same thing. I'm going to just mix it up a little bit. Do the same thing and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to right quick show you guys how to preserve the flour. You don't have to throw it away. Just put it in a Ziploc bag or a plastic bag or whatever. Alright, put it in there and you can put it in the refrigerator for the next time. So the next time it'll already be ready and you can fry you another batch of chick chicken. Okay? Okay, you guys. This is the last batch that's ready to be taken out. Look how crispy that is. And golden brown. Yeah, baby, that looks so good. Mm -mm -mm. And y'all gonna make this chicken. And people are like, where did y'all order this chicken from? You say, no, I made this chicken. I'm like, no, oh, this is delicious. Thank you. Just say thank you. <laughs> They're going to be calling you and talking about when you going to make some more chicken. It is so delicious, guys. Easy, simple, delicious. And it doesn't take much time at all. So good. And I'm going to fry some fries. That's a small one, but that's okay. I'm going to fry some fries to go with them. And that will be it. Look at that. Look how crispy it is. Look how pretty that looks. That's what I'm talking about. And the last one. See how it's barely frying? See? Before it was vigorously frying. But now, look at that. Baby, that nice golden brown color. Look at that. So that's the second batch. And the first batch is plated. Alright. So... 
this is my easy, simple, delicious way to make fried chicken featuring the kernels seasoned flour, okay? Yeah, mm. baby. Now how about taking that to the table? Yeah, baby. Delicious. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy!